हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर एन देशमुख असोसिएट प्रोफेसर एट सुधाकर नॉइक इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ फार्मसी पुसद फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी द इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन एस्टिमेशन एंड यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ कैफीन कैफीन इट इज वन ऑफ द ड्रग व्हिच कॉजेस अ स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम इन इंडिया इट इज द मॉर्निंग ड्रिंक इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द टी इट इज the obtain from the different sources of the plants it is present in the leaf it is present in the fruits it is present in the seeds of the different plants it belongs to category of the purine alkaloids in this picture you can see the caffeine it is obtained from the tea leaf it is also obtained from guarana seeds it is also present in coke seeds it is also obtained from the coffee coffee beans and it is also present in case of the cola seeds so from the different sources this caffeine is obtained which causes the stimulation of the central nervous system and it is also used as an anorexiant and also it can be utilized in the different anti cold tablets so friends let us study the industrial production estimation and utilization of caffeine caffeine comes under the class of the purine alkaloids it comes under the class of the purine alkaloids it is found in various parts of the plants such as the leaves seeds and the fruits of 63 different species throughout the world so it is present in 63 different species throughout the world in the different plants this caffeine is present it is a purine alkaloid that is the xanthine alkaloid obtained from the plant species such as the seeds seeds of the guarana seeds of the guarana that is the pal palunia cupono belonging to family sapindaceae that is the seeds of the guarana then the tea leaves the common drink which is used in india tea leaves which is obtained from the camellia sinensis or thea sinensis belonging to family theaceae next one that is the cola seeds which is obtained from the cola acuminata cola astrophora cola alba cola vera belonging to family sterculaceae it is also obtained from the coffee seeds the seeds of the coffee that is the coffee arabica belonging to family rubiaceae again it is also obtained from the kernels of the cocoa plant that is the theobroma cocoa belonging to family sterculaceae so from these different sources this caffeine can be obtained but the seeds of the guarana the seeds of the guarana contain highest amount of the caffeine that is 2.5 to 7% of the caffeine it is present in the seeds of the guarana so it is used for the extraction of the caffeine it is soluble in all polarity solvents it is it has a good solubility in non polar solvents like chloroform moderately polar solvents like dichloromethane and most polar solvent water that is in case of the boiling water it is soluble this solubility is important for the extraction of the caffeine from its source this is the chemical structure of the caffeine extraction of the caffeine tea leaf powder here the extraction it is shown from the tea leaf powder tea leaf powder is taken boil with alkaline water that is 2% of weight by volume of sodium carbonate solution is taken boil for at least 10 minutes and it is filtered while it is hot so tea leaf powder is taken boil with alkaline water then it is filtered it is boiled for 10 minutes and then it is filtered while hot separate the mark and the mark which is obtained it is again boiled with the sufficient quantity of the water for 10 to 15 minutes 
so that the total amount of the caffeine which is present in the mars can be extracted out again filter in hot condition then you have to mix both the aqueous extract as well as the both previous extract which are prepared they are to be mixed both the aqueous extract they are to be mixed evaporated it to reduce the volume it is evaporated to reduce the volume cool it to the room temperature then cool it to the room temperature then this cool aqueous extract it is partition with the dichloromethane that is it is transferred this cool aqueous extract transferred to the separating funnel and partition with dichloromethane for three times so the caffeine which is present in case of the aqueous extract get, get transferred to this dichloromethane solvent then drain the dichloromethane fraction through a bed of anhydrous sodium carbonate to remove the moisture this dichloromethane fraction may have a traces of water present in them so it is to be passed through the anhydrous sodium carbonate bed to remove the moisture then collect dehydrated dichloromethane fraction this collected dichloromethane fraction it is evaporated to get the caffeine to get caffeine you have to evaporate it you have to evaporate it gently to get the crystals of caffeine this caffeine which is obtained it is further purified by recrystallization from hot ethanol again further purification can be done by recrystallization from hot ethanol then it is dried in desiccator or the sublimation or the further recrystallization can be done by means of the sublimation process also in case of the sublimation process caffeine has a sublimation property and can be used for purification that is the caffeine can be sublimation sublimation means that is the solid get directly converted into the gas in case of the caffeine also the caffeine get converted into the gas and this gas it is further condensed to obtain the crystals of the caffeine so the crude caffeine is taken in the conical flask or the sublimation chamber directly heated on hot plate caffeine melts at 238 degree celsius while it sublimes at 178 degree celsius so, so sublimation occurs first it get converted into the gases first and these gases are further condensed so the vapors of the caffeine stick to the fingers of the sublimation chamber which cooled by a circulating cold water or the test tube fit a flask laid with the cold water so the vapors of the caffeine which are generated they will get cooled by circulating a cold water in the fingers of the sublimation chamber or to the test tube fitted to the conical flask you will obtain a white needles of a pure caffeine collected from the test tube or from the finger of the sublimation form so in this way you can obtain a pure caffeine in the crystalline form by means of the sublimation method analysis of the caffeine for the analysis the ip method 2007 it is used for this way accurately isolated purified caffeine as specified dissolve in 5 ml of anhydrous glycyl acetic acid with gentle warming so accurate amount of the caffeine way dissolve in 5 ml of the anhydrous glycyl acetic with gentle warming then titrate with 0.1 molar of the perchloric acid determine the end point potentiometrically so further titration it is done by using 0.1 molar of the perchloric acid and end point it is determined and the percentage content of the caffeine calculated by using the factor 1 ml of 0.1 molar perchloric acid is equivalent to 0.01942 g of the caffeine so by using the factor you can determine how much amount of the caffeine it is present in the extracted one you can also perform the chromatographic estimation by means of the high performance liquid chromatography the experimental conditions they are the mobile phase which is to be used that is the methanol acetonitrile 65 is to 35 mobile phase 
column which is to be used that is the reverse face C18 column having a length of 150 mm and the width of the 4 mm that is the internal diameter it is the 5 micron meter flow rate it is 1.5 ml per minute of the flow rate it is to be managed for the column then the procedure mobile phase is run for 10 minutes with flow rate of 1.5 ml per minute using C80 HP LC column that is the mobile phase is allowed to move through the column for first 10 minutes then the caffeine is introduced into the column caffeine detected at 250 nanometer using the UV detectors the concentration of the standards which are prepared in the form of the 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 part per million and the known concentration of test caffeine which is isolated where used for the analysis one by one the standards of the different concentrations they are introduced into the column then the test is also introduced into the column caffeine eludes approximately at 1.1 minute the area of this peak is measured the area of this peak was measured so the caffeine eludes at approximately 1.1 minute the area of this peak was measured the replicates of each standard were taken and a plot of the peak versus concentration was made so the peak of all the standard of the different concentration determine the peak of the test determine then the plot of the peak area versus concentration was plotted and the percentage caffeine content of the test sample were calculated by extra plotting or by means of the regression method so you can determine how much amount of the caffeine it is present in the test by means of the extra protection or by means of the regression equation another method it is of the high performance thin layer chromatography hp tlc method in this case the mobile phase which is to be used that is the n hexane ethyl acetate acetic acid formic acid water in the ratio of 100 is to 11 is to 11 is to 27 stationary phase is silica gel f 252 deritizing and visualizing agent that is the natural product PEG reagent standard that is 6 gradual increasing concentration of the standard caffeine we are prepared in the methanol by using a standard of caffeine test the test is prepared by using a predetermined concentration of the isolated caffeine solution prepared and used along with the standard one test caffeine of known concentration applied over pre-coated silica gel f252 high performance thin layer chromatography plate along with a series series of gradual increasing concentration of the standard caffeine for the quantitative estimation so in this case on the pre-coated plate of hptlc the standard as well as the test are applied the plate develop in saturated hptlc chamber the further development of the plate it is done in the saturated hptlc chamber along with the mobile phase the mobile phase is allowed to move after ascending development hptlc plate dried and deritized with the npg reagent so further derutization of the plate it is done that is after the development of the plate the plate is taken out allowed to dry at the room temperature and then the plate it is derutized with the natural product PEG reagent. Quantitative evaluation of the plates was performed in the absorbance reflectance mode at the lambda max of 326 nanometer. The chromatogram with the caffeine peak with RF 0.60 was recorded and from this the calibration curve of the area under curve versus the concentration of the standard caffeine used to quantify it in the test extract. So the chromatogram with the caffeine peak with RF 0.60 recorded and then with the 
readings which are obtained for the standard one of the different concentration the calibration curve of area under curve versus concentration was plotted and the amount of the caffeine which is present in test extract was determined use of the caffeine it is used as an central nervous system respiratory stimulant caffeine is used to treat the tiredness and drowsiness and to improve the effect of some pain relievers it is used caffeine is also found in some headache migraine medications and it is used in the treatment of cold and cough it is also used as an diuretic but nowadays better drugs are available as compared to caffeine as an diuretic so it is not used as an diuretic it is also used as as an anorexian that is it will decrease the appetite so for reducing the weight it is used as an anorexian so this is all about the caffeine which is used as an cns respiratory stimulant and also it is used for the treatment of cough and cold and as an anorexian thank you very much